Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, a lot going on on JP and Global Dokkan, so I'm a little late to this. I usually do like to do uh, videos covering a global character, you know, when they've been out for a while on JP and they're just about to arrive on Global. Usually like Dokkan Fest, LRs, and really major EZAs. Uh, it's been very busy the last couple of days, but I did just want to give Vegeta and UI Goku um, a video. Um, Attack UI Goku is obviously coming out in a couple of days. Um, this Evolution Blue Vegeta for the last six months on Dokkan has essentially been the second best unit in the game. Um, I think that depending upon the fight, depending upon situations, you could probably try and argue UI Goku or Vegeta over each other. But, I mean, they're definitely the two best EZs in the game. I, I feel like I myself kind of prefer the way Vegeta is designed over Goku. Uh, there's many aspects of Vegeta where he just has a W over Goku. For example, remember, their, their kids kind of mirror each other intentionally, right? But Vegeta has a guaranteed additional that is a 77% chance to be a super attack, right? For UI Goku, it's just a 77% chance to be an additional super attack. So Vegeta's is better because no matter what, even if you fail the 77%, he still does a normal, which still gives you a better chance to proc the hidden potential system additional. So Vegeta, in a couple of different aspects of his kit, does win out like that. But right now, in this meta specifically, we have several bosses who literally can only super attack in slot one. And that oftentimes is Vegeta's weakness. If a boss can super instantly, they can kill him. Vegeta is very tanky, but he dies if he gets immediately supered in slot one. If he's able to attack first, he's usually good. I, I've only ever seen Vegeta killed once, I think, in slot two. N you know, not like, oh, we had 50 HP and he died. But like, uh, in Kid Buu, in Kid Buu Red Zone, once slammed Vegeta. I, I would have to go back and look at what video it was with context. But the only time I've seen Vegeta touched, so to say, outside of slot one was against Red Zone Kid Buu. Um, Alright, now, I just decided, whatever, let's just jump into the hardest fight in the game. Goku and Frieza. Uh, just for, for this video, because I'm not really using these attempts right now. I feel like this would serve well. I mean, I'm using a little bit of a kind of team you're not really going to be able to run right now on Global, but very soon you will be able to run on Global anyway. Um, now, one of the biggest issues for Vegeta... Okay, keep in mind, this boss does uh, attack debuff, right? So, it, just for this turn, our attack will go in a little bit. Not the biggest deal, but just something to keep in mind. Um, so, we get supered right there. Vegeta, one thing that really raises Vegeta and UI Goku, in my opinion, to the top is the revive. You know, it's essentially like a team protector ability. Um, not really as consistent as something like Orange Piccolo's Giant Form or Beast Gohan's active or, you know, Gogeta's active. You know when it's going to come. But I see, like, if we combo the sixth anniversary LRs into one character... And I just count how often I see the revive of both combined. I've a, a thousand times more often than Gogeta's active for me. Um, okay, so obviously we have this uh, nonsense right here. Let's just go Team Universe 7 right there, bam. We, we could float Jiren off. Uh, we're probably going to move very fast right here. Now, we need to hope for some good luck on this uh, upcoming turn. Um, or we Oh, nice, super attack dodge. We'll take that. Uh, we do need to hope for some good luck. So, again, Vegeta needing to get hit. I mean, turn one, Vegeta's guarding. So, turn one, Vegeta can easily, effortlessly, seamlessly go in slot two and you're... Or, slot one and you're good. Um, but, I mean, depending upon the fight, this fight, for example, right? Like, we're probably not going to be able to get all five hits in right away. I mean, this fight specifically, 17 does lock, so it can be tough, but... My point is, I've found it difficult over the last six months to get hit five times. It is tough to just get hit consistently. Because, like, and people will say, oh, dude, it's easy to get hit five times. And it's like, okay, like, we could get hit five times, but understand his revive doesn't just proc the second we get hit the fifth time. It's then his next turn after that. Yeah, see, damn. Okay, so in this run, the revive uh, ain't happening. It ain't happening. Uh, okay. Um, the good news is I believe we did get a UI Goku turn. Damn, yeah. I. Okay, so I just hopped into this fight, and I don't... It's just the way the fight is structured. 
uh, you can't just really decide who's going to dominate this fight, really. I mean, maybe towards the end, but um, again, having to get hit is something out of your control. Like, the boss, like, you don't just get to say, you know, oh, we're just going to get hit a million times right here. Like, it doesn't really work that way as much as I'd like it to. Um, so that's kind of like the one issue. I mean, Vegeta does build up his own stats by attacking, which is good. Uh, damn, I'd actually rather UI Goku does not kill right here. Uh, because I do want Vegeta to be able to get one more attack in to fully build up. Perfect. Okay, so now Vegeta is going to get this hit in to fully build up. By the way, right here, dude, shoot up to 21 million right there. Um, so Vegeta is going to be fully built up after this attack. Evolution Blue Vegeta and EJL UI Goku both have an ability that, again, I still, to this day, I don't think I've seen even one person talk about it ever besides me. And that's on their 18 key super, they give crit support for two turns. And then on their 12 key, they give crit support for one turn. I, I feel like using these characters, I have noticed how much, like, I, I definitely have seen, um the extra effect of having that crit support. I, I feel like I really have seen it. Uh, whoops, that's, I, okay, hold on, that's, that's, obviously I didn't mean it to, hold on. Yeah, I actually meant to, uh, like, start to pull at UI Goku's active, and I accidentally hit a little too high. But whatever, whatever, not a big deal. All right, so um, UI Goku, we're going to get his domain out. That's going to be very helpful for us in terms of actually uh, doing damage to Goku and Frieza. Um, and then we can kind of uh, just let shit go here. Um, all right, so let's see how we're going to do. UI Goku can decimate um, 17 and Golden Frieza right here. By the way, just as an aside... This is one of the scariest phases. Well, actually, no, no, no. Hold on. This is the scariest phase in the game, I think. Because um, you guys know my typical shenanigans of having dodge on characters and stuff like that doesn't work against this boss. And, I mean, they're supering for 3 million instantly, and you can't dodge. It, it, this is a very difficult portion, and it directly follows a locking boss. Just the structure of this fight is insane. In terms of, like, toxic boss mechanics just coming at you one after another. Like, it's it, it's very, very nuts, right? Um, but Evolution Blue Vegeta, guess what he doesn't need to rely on? Dodge. Uh, Vegeta doesn't need to, to worry about dodging in order to be good. So Vegeta, of course, I mean, you look at it. Again, the, in my opinion, this is the hardest phase in the game currently. This 17 and Golden Frieza. I mean, it's within context of 17 locking in front of them and then behind them you have goku and freezer the 10 million damage threshold check so it's like you know you have to come into the fight respecting the the damage check that goku and freezer have like you have to you have to right so it's like w with all these things in, in conjunction it creates this as like the most difficult phase to get through i've found um i, I mentioned this in a video recently but i feel like this phase i'm dying more often than like any other phase I could think of in like one of these tough fights, besides like AOE Broly from the original movie Red Zone during seventh anniversary, in Fusion Zamasu, um, the two Cell Max uh, stages of the Cell Max event, um, and then this fight, At, like like th those are like these are like the top ones where I just feel like I'm dying over and over and over and over again. Um, the other thing too is that this boss I've found to be very unpredictable, but. I mean, they can go turns without supering. Um, I'm gonna here. Let's pop Jiren standby. I I really want Jiren standby like damage up for Vegeta. They didn't super attack last turn. I want to, bro, I, I really wanted to have the revive up 
for Goku and Frieza. Because if we look at this, like if I do this right here, uh, I think uh, 17 and Golden Frieza will live with a sliver of health, and then Takuai Goku should finish it at the end. And then at that point, we could potentially have like Vegeta's revive ready to go against Goku and Frieza, which, you know, could be a, a huge kind of like asset towards winning here. Um, I'll go for this. I'm going to be quite annoyed if they do just super attack right away. Um, but I mean, we could always just hop into other events if they do. Um, all right. There's a bit of a gamble here. Yeah, we should be okay. Don't super right away. We're fine. We're fine. The, all right. This could be good. This could be good. Uh, oh, 34 million, by the way. Yeah. Oh, 34, by the way. That's pre-revive. Uh, so that's tech UI Goku support and... Oh, actually, he is going to kill them, huh? Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, there's Vegeta. <laughs> there's, there's Vegeta. Like, he... So, okay. Remember, every time Vegeta gets hit, so he starts with 50% damage reduction, he gets hit and builds up extra 10% damage reduction. At 17 and Golden Frieza being way over 3 million damage. Um, you know, being class disadvantage and type disadvantage for Vegeta. I'm telling y'all, Vegeta would eat that super for nothing after Vegeta attacks. Like, if they would have tried to play him right there and super him, Vegeta would have laughed at that shit. It would have been fine. It would not even have been a problem whatsoever. All right, let's transform into Gogeta. We'll get, you know, that copyrighted music out of here. Thank you, Gogeta. Um, okay, we could die here. Um... Let's hope we don't. Five rainbows for them, you say. All right, this actually could work out rather well. You know what we could get here, actually? Just make sure you dodge, buddy. Yeah, okay. You know what we could actually get here is maybe Evolution Blue Vegeta's final explosion. KO screen? We could. Dude, the damage check is so stupid. It's, I hate that shit. Talk about just, like, idiotic idiotic boss ability look at that stupid i like, i hated the supreme magnificent battle beast gohan fight that had that and that <laughs> that fight has a damage check that's seven million it's seven million less do you think you think that's fun zero zero critting for zero you think that's great because it's not oh my god all right well uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to ever get five hits. This should damage them if he crits. He didn't crit. This should damage them as long as he crits. Just crit. Just crit, baby. Yep, there you, we did it. We just snuck our head over that 10 million damage threshold. I don't know what they were thinking with this stupid shit. 10 million. All right, man. Sure. This is with Jiren support. We have Jiren support and we have Takuai Goku's domain up. Zero. That's so good. All right, well, if he crits, he should do damage here. Yep, nice. Bro, you love that? What, what, dude, what, I gotta go. Was that, that like a 27 million attack stat for zero? <laughs> dude, I gotta tweet that out. 27 million attack stat, zero damage. Thank you. <laughs> really good, dude. We love that shit. What, what was that? was 20 something, right? I got a tweet. That, that's a tweet, man. We're, good. We're putting that one up. What the hell? That That's where I'll, I, I'll put that out. Like, I feel like this part, I mean, isn't actually as bad as you think. I mean, I'm complaining about a lot, but I just hate this shit. I, I do hate, like, maybe it's because I'm more of a defensive-oriented player, right? And it's, like, just, like, seeing, like, the zeros over and over is just, I don't know, it's so annoying. All right, we did a ton of damage, though. But, like, you see that they, they do go down very quick. Like, we did huge damage. And, dude, can you dodge? Okay. That's a good double digits right there. That 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 is a good showing of Gogeta. One reason I really like Gogeta. Um, like, that, just, just, like, eating that double digits like that. Uh, okay, we can't do anything besides just this. Um, so we weren't able to get the five hits for Vegeta up to this point. Again, that shit is actually rather tough, I found. It, it, it is. But Jiren will have 100% damage reduction right here. Uh, let's use Vegeta's final explosion. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and pop this. Let's go. Okay. 
開始権ほどの技を食らわせてやるこれが俺の全てだ All right, so there was Vegeta dropping that. Remember, he does costume change um, into his kind of like uh, sexy shirtless version right there. Um, <clears throat> all right, I think Vegeta probably should be able to kill right here. Uh, we do have two turn support from Team Universe 7. Golden Freeze and 17 should be fine here as well. Um, they should be. I've, I've never seen them take damage from like a, like a situation like this, so... 17 to Golden Freezer should be a okay. Yeah, I guess it would help if we had their um, active up, but they didn't get four super attacks up to this point. A again, the, the structure of this fight, it, it can be very difficult to, you know, like like every like it's every time is because of the locking and all the bullshit that's in here. Um, by the way, Vegeta. Oh, come on, that's a very unclutch. Come on, Vegeta. Double normal, of course. Of course. Um, I should also mention the build I have for Vegeta is with his anniversary equips. I, I would not recommend anything less. Um, I think that the anniversary equips are what you want to do to give him the extra raw defense. Vegeta really gave us a double normal, man. Ugh. They are taking a little bit of damage. Wow, Goku and Freeze just hit that hard. We're, we're alive, though. We're okay. We're okay. That's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, the second UI Goku could transform, though. Yeah, that means we win. Oh, we can get that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's play this one. That's rare. I got a little antsy in the pantsy to toss that out when I saw it. I probably should have done the the domain first, but I mean, regardless, we win. Like it's we won anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So Vegeta. Let me just quickly show the the build I have for Vegeta. I mean, I I I, I don't know. I, Vegeta. A lot of these top tier characters that do everything or have super good designs. Vegeta, Beast Gohan. I, like I, there's just like no real good build. Like, at Beast and Vegeta don't really have like, oh, th you gotta do this. I mean, it just like, I, I mean, I would say feels like it mostly all doesn't even really matter because Vegeta does guarantee crits at 24 key, which you're gonna get whenever you want. You don't really struggle to get key with this guy, right? Like at all, because he 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 builds up a massive amount of key when he attacks. What is it? three key every time he attacks up to a max of 10 like that that shit is very easy he's got the guaranteed crits of 24 key he has a guaranteed additional um so what i did was um i just gave him started with the anniversary equips and then all the rest of the points i gave him was additional giving him dodge is very fr i mean i i don't know if y'all's vegeta is like this but for me vegeta that five dodge turns him into ui goku out here okay he dodges crazily remember you need to get hit five times and your vibe goes up for me vegeta is like again he's like the second coming of ui goku when i'm using this guy <laughs> it's just how it goes but um i would probably recommend to pretty much exactly copy this this equip right here i mean the crit does nothing on him right but i i do really value the defense i mean what are we gonna do here additional I it feels like i get the additional of vegeta pretty common i mean we saw it Right? Like, we're going to get that with him. Um, I just feel like giving him that defense just to maximize his ability to take those hits is is probably the best bet for Vegeta. I think so. I do think so. So, there we go. Uh, I think we could just go ahead and finish up here. I mean, we, we saw Vegeta. We talked about him a lot. Um, you know, remember, his revive is a huge part of him. Uh, if you bring Vegeta and UI Goku on the team... It's like you can have basically like one of their revives up for most of the fight, right? And then if you've also got like Beast Gohan or Blue Gogeta or a lot of these other crazy characters, 
you're just going to have a lot of different super busted mechanics that you're going to have access to, which is going to be really, really good. Um, all right, we should be over the damage threshold right here, provided he gets a crit. If he gets a crit, he's going to do damage. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Um, and then he'll be able to finish him off. With this is not going to do damage, but uh, the counters will. See, it's like, do you, like, imagine if they didn't have the damage threshold, like, we would have killed them turn one. Like, it's, they die so fast, this boss. Like, that's, they didn't make them that tanky. That, add them to the pile. Uh, Sword of Hope Trunks is like that. Oh, we gotta kill him with a super. Sword of Hope Trunks is like that. Um, Blue Gogeta is like that. Like, the Supreme Magnificent Battle Fights. A lot of these bosses are very toxic, hit very hard, but they are rather squishy at the same time. So these elite gods of the game can kill. Uh, I guess it's... I mean, Tech UI Goku is definitely going to kill in slot 3. They, 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 we got a crit right there. Yeah. So what, earlier, what was that? That was like a 23 million super. That did zero damage. 23 million super, whatever. It's zero damage. That's, come on. that's ridiculous. That's, that's so crazy. Zero damage. <laughs> Yeah, I, if it's up to me, I like, give the boss locking, sealing, all that shit. I, the one thing I hate the most is definitely the damage threshold. I hate that. I think that shit is trash. Uh, that, that's the number one trash ability. But yeah, Vegeta. Um, right now, I think Vegeta is, is no less than, at, I mean, at absolute worst, if you hate this guy, the fifth best unit in the game. And, of course, some Beast, Cell Max, EJL UI, In Evolution Blue Vegeta, and Tech UI. That's the top five. No doubt about it. Um, so, I, I mean, Vegeta is just very good. And Vegeta has very few weaknesses besides just, like, the very first hit that comes at him. Pretty much only if he's in slot one. Again, I've seen Vegeta, you know, eat hundreds of super attacks in slot two or three. And it was only, like, one time ever where he actually got cracked like an egg. So, uh, this guy is very dominant, very consistent. Um, either him or AGL UI Goku is the best EZA in history. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They're, they're pretty close. Uh, they have, you know, there's some advantages here and there. Um, but yeah, Evolution Blue Vegeta is just great. He, he's awesome. They they made his EZA just so perfect. Um, and he's dominated the game for six months on JP. Um, and I really do think he's probably going to continue dominating the game for at, at least the rest of this year. Uh, there's no way they could power creep this guy uh, in a healthy way. They can't. Not this year. No way. So let me know what you guys think of Evolution Blue Vegeta. That boy is goddamn good.